guys, Ray Connors, Rep Tech Grills. Today we're gonna do a stuffed chicken breast. It's gonna be stuffed with some mozzarella, some roasted red peppers. What? <laughs> and, uh, and some roasted red peppers and basil. Basil. First thing I gotta do, roast those red peppers. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Okay, so we got the Rec Tech preheated 350. I'm thinking about 30 minutes. I like to grill these flesh side down. I put some olive oil on them and I hit them with our banging brisket rub, which is just your favorite barbecue rub. And we're just gonna roast these red peppers for this stuffed chicken recipe. 30 minutes at 350. I'm gonna check them and see what they look like, but you're just trying to get them tender. Get a little smoke on them. All right, so what we're doing now for these stuffed chicken breasts, we're gonna take a boneless, skinless breast. Stevie's uh, gonna clean that little bit of fat up. And what you wanna do is just get in the side, get you a nice sharp knife. And uh, what he's gonna do is basically just make us a nice little pocket in there and uh, He'll show you, he'll open up and show you. Once he gets a pocket in all these uh, fillets, we'll season them up. We're gonna use our uh, gourmet Greek seasoning. That stuff just works wonders on chicken. We're gonna get some seasoning inside. We're then gonna uh, dice up the red peppers, dice up the basil, and put some fresh mozzarella in there and stuff these guys, and then they're going back on the Rectex. So he's gonna put another slot on there, and then we're gonna start seasoning them with this, uh, this Jamie's Gourmet Greek uh, Seasoning. I'll season them while Stevie kind of spreads it inside since he's gloved up. All right, and so we, you want to get some seasoning inside as well. And you can go heavy with this stuff. All right. Ooh, you cut through on that one. Steve, I wasn't going to tell anybody. Oh, yeah. Really? You're not going to get the bottom side? Would you let me do this? Get them seasoned up. Once those peppers are done, we'll stuff these guys and show you how to finish them up. There we go. <laughs> All right, see you at the rec tech. All right, so the side we're doing with this chicken, we're just doing some Brussels sprouts. What'd you do to those? You kind of quartered them up clean? What I did with those, you go cut off your brown ends down at the end. Cut off the end. Oh, and then Make half. sure you pull your leaves off. If they're big, cut them in half. If they're small, you can leave them. I kind of cut these in half, give them better roast and flavor. We're gonna dump that in there. Little simple side, Brussels sprouts, tablespoon of uh, roasted garlic, and then we're gonna put some uh, extra virgin olive oil, we'll drizzle some uh, olive oil on them. So let's call that uh, two tablespoons. And Beautiful. then we're using our banging brisket rub, toss them around, and then we're gonna roast these when we roast that chicken. Give so it a good liberal coating of that rub. So we'll see you at the rec tech. All right, so we've had the Brussels sprouts roasting out there at 350 degrees. These uh, peppers took about 50 minutes. We went ahead and stuffed three. We want to show you how we do. What we're going to do is use about two or three whole basil leaves in each breast. Um, these peppers this are really good. good. It tenders them up. Go ahead. What did you say? I got a little bit more than three or four because they're smaller. Just on this one. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Recipes are meant to be changed as we work them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Seven basil leaves, exactly, precisely. <laughs> precisely. <laughs> Julianne the red pepper, some buffalo mozzarella, stuff these guys, push them closed as best you can, and then we're going about 50 minutes, I think. I'm calling it 50 minutes until the internal's 160. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm pumped. <laughs> I'm excited about the project. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. All right, so we've got the Rec, rec Tech going at 350. Brussels sprouts are already on. We put some uh, picks in here. That kind of holds them up a little bit also. Try to keep that mozz in, because it's gonna get gooey and good. There you go. All right, so the Brussels sprouts took about 45 minutes. Chicken took about an hour. With a little bit of olive oil, and you just wanna be gentle with these, because you don't want all the goodies to fall out. Here we go, we're gonna go plate these guys up inside. So plate this up, you're gonna pull the picks out, and then we're gonna put the Brussels sprouts on there that we roasted up, and we're gonna use a balsamic glaze on here. We're gonna garnish it with a few of the leftover roasted red peppers. We overdid the Brussels sprouts so today. Some parts. Some parts, a little bit, but the crunch mm. is a little bit good too. That's pretty tasty.
looks amazing. Beautiful plate. Nice work. Thank you. I got to tell you, I said earlier that we overcooked those Brussels sprouts, but I've been over there picking the parts that got Dude, pudgy, I'm telling you. They're actually delicious. Let's get in deep on I that. I know. I, I took the end right off. I went, I went in there deep. Look, look at that, Frankie, in the middle there, how beautiful that is. Frankie's our camera guy, by the way. I didn't even figure that out. Do they? Mmm. We just drizzle some balsamic vinaigrette, glaze. Mmm. That is delicious. Easy recipe. <coughs> what happened, man? You burn yourself? A little hot. Be careful. <laughs> hey, guys. Check out www.recnetgrills.com. I'm telling you, the flavor this grill adds, you will not be sorry. You'll love it. You'll thank me later. Check out our other videos. Thanks for cooking with me today. Thank you for helping me, man. Right. Turned out good. Enjoyed it. Love what it. kind of beer we got today? Sweetwater IPA. You got Sweetwater. We did that. The take Pilsner. Two. Take two. Pretty good. Try one out. Take care.